the marquee matchup of the night. And that's saying something because there's like four or five of them is going to be between the Brewers and Reds. And you've heard all about it by now. The fact that these two teams separated by only two games atop the NL Central will play three games leading into the All-Star break, three games in Cincinnati getting out of the All-Star break. We're going to learn a lot about the Central in the next week and a half. Let's start with the Reds, who've won five in a row. It's their third five or more game winning streak of the season since late May. And that includes the 12 gamer they reeled off in June. Andrew Abbott on the mound today. Uh, he made his major league debut against the Reds. As you'll recall, his last start came on July 2nd, where in seven and two thirds against the Padres, he punched out a career high 12. This guy's already kind of tipping the scales as an MVP candidate, a Cy Young candidate, a Rookie of the Year candidate. That might be a little much, but he's been awesome in six games as Ballpark Cam is turned on at Great America, or, uh, American Family Field. It'll be a Great American after the break. As far as the Brewers, they took three of four from the Reds in early June, but that was before the Reds became the Reds, right? Uh, they've got Corbin Burns tonight, does the home side. He's coming off a start in Pittsburgh where he was really good. There is a lot of compelling storyline happening here, and of course, Ellie De La Cruz, every time he's on the field, you can't take your eyes off of it. He's coming off a monster four-game series in D.C. as the Reds try to win their sixth in a row tonight. Another really good one in St. Pete. Braves and Rays in the first of three. Best records in the big league square off. Two of the best lineups in baseball get together. The Braves have won 25 of their last 29. They're averaging seven runs a game in that span. They've got an 842 team OPS, and that would be the highest by a National League team since 1930. Some uh, pregame ceremony happening at the Trop today. Ronald Acuna Jr.'s hot. Sean Murphy's hot as far as the Rays. They've lost five in a row, and their hold atop the AL East is only four games. Bullpen has been the big culprit in a bad stretch for them, and that's why maybe Tyler Glass now will be leaned on more so than usual tonight. Kevin Cash had to use a bunch of bullpen pieces yesterday in their 11-inning loss to Philly. And speaking of Philly, this road winning streak is getting interesting. They'll tie a franchise record if they can beat the Marlins tonight. It'd be their 13th straight road win. Philly has won 22 of 29 overall. Yesterday, Kyle Schwarber and Trey Turner were the heroes with 10th uh, inning RBI singles. They beat the, uh, they won 3 to 1 in Tampa St. Pete. Phillies have won each of Zach Wheeler's last five. He goes on the mound tonight. Sandy Alcantara for the Marlins. And as for the Miami Marlins, they're also hot as we turn on ballpark cam at Lone Depot Park. 14 of the last 21 have been wins for Miami. Sandy has been tough to figure out this year. You see the ERA near five. Three and seven is the reigning NL Cy Young Award winner. He allowed nine runs over four innings when he lost to the Phillies back in early April. Wheeler versus Alcantara in another great matchup tonight. And finally, uh, we get to what you could call, I don't know, the disappointment bowl. The money can't buy you love matchup. It's the Mets and Phillies, first of three at Petco Park. Both teams enter play tonight with identical records. Each team six and a half out of the final National League wildcard spot. Uh, this was not the way it was supposed to go with all that payroll and talent infusion on both sides. For uh, for the Mets, uh, July has started out a lot better than June when they finished with the National League's worst record. They're undefeated so far in July. They've got Justin Verlander tonight, who's coming off perhaps his best start as a Met on Saturday against the Giants. For San Diego, they're looking to win four in a row for the first time this year. Again, each team 41 and 46 at the start of play. You Darvish on the mound for the pods. They bumped him twice because he had flu-like symptoms. He's finally able to get back out there tonight at home where he's been a lot better. Verlander and Darvish, uh, those are just four of the great matchups tonight. 